What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to Slime Rancher. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today. I've got my Oka Oka on. We got our Oka Oka, so we're good. I think that with the Oka Oka, I'm going to drop it on over here. There we go. I don't know if I want to make a ton of Oka Oka or not, but I'm going to make some. Because we have such a wide variety of everything else that, like, why not? I mean, I'm going to put some Oka Oka in there too, just in case I need to replant at some point. Because I get the feeling it's going to be important to us at some point. We got wild honey in the previous episode. We had actually figured out, which you guys have been probably been screaming at me in the comments for a long, long time, that uh, we can go to different zones and mine different areas to get different things. And so mining, I just had thought, I thought that this was the science area. So this is where we drill and do all of our stuff. It seemed like a logical conclusion to me, if somewhat unexpansive. And of course, Splattercat's brain being what it is, I probably could have done better. We're doing all right right now. We're expanding and moving things forward and getting a pretty good feel for the way we want to play the game. Our character's been up for like eight days straight now without sleeping, which is kind of an interesting factor. Not sure how that's going to affect her personal life or the way that she interacts with her peers. But like I said in the previous episode, we're all alone out here. We have no friends. We have no anybody. Nothing can stop us. Can't stop us because we're having a good time. Having a good time. I'm flying through the sky on a tiger. They make very poor aeronautical things. Tigers aren't known for their expansive abilities to fly is all that I'm pointing out. Unless that was a drug euphemism, then whatever. All good. We'll get some more advanced apiaries, I think, are the next thing we want several of. So I'm actually going to do this one by one because I want to farm out stuff. Like, I want to get to the point where we can actually get some of the new devices and some of the new things. And we're just starting to get to the point. There we go. Why are there a bunch of carrots in there? Huh. I don't know how I feel about that. There's a bunch of carrots in there, but I don't really want to go in and get them either because it'll be a pain in the ass and it'll be a hassle. Yeah, I like to switch my ammo while I feed the great science god. The science god wills it. I'll probably get another drill that I can put in the stone zone. A.K.A. the stone bone zone. The stone bone zone. Don't take that tone. Leave me alone. I'm fully grown because I'm a daddy. All right, so... Did I talk about that already? How oh, that's one of my favorite internet videos ever. I probably did, right? I have to have talked about it. The video is too important in my life. It's too much of a factor for me to have not talked about it. They're trying to escape and I have no Oka Oka. There we go. So for instant feed capacity, we'll give them that. Oh, I picked up a Primordial Oil. Yay. I mean, I suppose it's kind of possible that the Oka Oka has grown already. It is a new crop and new crops, in my opinion, grow faster. Even though it says they don't, that it's all uniform once you get all the upgrades, I still feel like new crops grow faster. You can corroborate me down in the comments. That's okay. You can't disagree with me, though. Otherwise, I get upset and I'll never make videos again because I'm fragile. I want to put the carrots inside of there. They don't need a lot to grow their hair. All right, so we've got that covered. The odd onions I will store in the silo for right now until we have a greater quantity of them. Okay. Our supply of strange, weirdly, what is the qualifier for an onion being oh, like strange? I don't know. I don't know. But apparently there is some qualifier for an onion being strange. Sorry, Puddle Slimes. See, my thought is that they don't actively take water out anymore. It's just so you can resupply if you want. You can use the pond as a resupply point for your water supply and your little watery tank. I think that's why it goes up and down. So you can't get, like, endless water out of a pond. But at the same time, I don't think the Puddle Slimes consume it, and I don't think it evaporates anymore either. I am of that opinion. And I might be wrong, sure. Absolutely and completely possible, but I might be right. If we're especially positive about this, I might be right. Rock plorts, go inside of there, and then I will also donate some more puddle plorts. Actually, everything here needs to go in. Q. 
cool. All right, so now that we've got that sorted away, what does it cost us to get, like, slime lamps and stuff? Because they look fun. I need deep breath. Man, everything takes the complicated stuff. Why are they got to be so mean to me? Indigonium. Hmm. Not to be mixed up with Indistopium. Stopnium. It would have to have the P and that sounds better. Stopnium. I like that. Indistopnium. Although it's getting a little bit complicated and long-winded at that point. What's up, everybody? Sorry about that. I'm back. My pizza arrived. My pizza got here. And so this might be the first time you've ever heard a fully fueled splatter cat. Because I don't really eat till dinner. I only eat like one meal a day. Have I ever talked about that on the channel? I feel like that's one of those major things in life that I just should have talked about on the channel. But I never have. I eat like one meal a day. I'm just never hungry. Like, I just don't get hungry. I don't know. Like, and when I do get hungry, I'm usually busy with other stuff. So I'm just like, eh. And I just keep going. And I just don't pay attention to it. I say, listen, hunger. I don't have time for you boo shit right now. And Hunger's like, okay. I'm like, that's right. You go back to your room, Hunger. You go back to your room and play with your G.I. Joes. And he's like, but I don't have any G.I. Joes. You didn't get me any. And I was like, that's right. Because I don't give shit to Hunger. Yeah, welcome back. Sorry about that. Well, I guess I could say welcome back to me, too. So I don't know where we get some of this stuff from. The teleporter we definitely need. Oh, we can build that. We can do a blue warp depot. Well, sure. I mean, do I need the... Lava dust for anything else? Doesn't seem I can do a red one. Okay. And then can I afford another one? So it gave me two red warp depots. And I think that allows me to set up two gadgets that remotely transfers resources between two points. Um, okay. I don't really know how that helps me, but I suppose we'll take a look at it right now and we'll see what it does. So we've got... Oh, I've got apiaries. i got to drop those off in the jungle. So... If I put it right here. So basically my guess is that if I put like a bunch of fruit inside of it, it more than likely. So can I pick it up? Oh, I can pick it up. Good. So actually I would put this over by my depot so that, or my silo anyways. I'm going to put this over by my silo. Because most of the time, I'm just going to put food in it or whatever. And I'll probably put the, the partner. It's facing the wrong way. No, it's got to face this way. Make it face this way. How are you going to make it face the wrong way? Here. It's got to go like this. So does it always face me when I do this? Ah, it always faces me. Gotcha. That way I can send a, I can send a resource back through. A red resource. Red resource. I don't have anything over here going on, so that's fine. I find it weird that all the grass in this world is pink. Like, does that rub anybody? Well, it's not all pink, I guess. Some of it's green, but does that rub anybody the wrong way? Like, when you sit down and you're like, hey, I'm going to go for a walk at the park, and the park is pink. It just feels hostile to me. It's like a warm, summery color, and I don't like warm, summery colors. So, I'll put this right here. And let's assume that I suck up all this. Because let's face it, my skills at sucking are second to none. So there we go. Nom, 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 nom. I wonder what a minty mango tastes like. Because I like mangoes. But I don't know how I feel about some. Maybe it's just got like that minty aftertaste. Like it doesn't actually taste like mint. It's like a mango, but you get like that menthol flavor afterwards. Maybe that's what they're talking about. So we got mint mangoes. This would actually be a pretty decent plan for chicken redistribution too. Because that's just the sort of world that we're building. Where chicken redistribution can happen at a moment's notice. Take that, you chicken farmers with too many chickens. We will redistribute them to the chicken poor. Uh, got it. And if you protest, we will bury you. I got pogo fruits in here too. Although I don't really know. So a teleporter is kind of a weird call. Like I don't know what I'm going to do with a teleporter. A warp depot that only has space for one item. I'd like to see upgrades on those so that maybe it gets multiple slots and it gets a little bigger each time. Kind of like the the gadgets that the engineer has in Team Fortress. Like you can upgrade it and it'll get a little bit bigger and it has like three different stages or whatever. Oh, and I can suck them back out of there too. Okay. That kind of works. So I'd probably just put like five in there just keep those for later just in case and then I'll pick them up at the depot basically I'll use that as my savings account here perfect 
And then heartbeats, you must come with me. I don't know why I harvest so many of you. I would probably be better off turning one of these into a Q-berry farm at some point so that I can have the favorite foods of everybody instead of just the favorite foods of one or two people. There's a chicken that escaped me. Man. I was trying to remember the name of the guy. Hmm. No, trying to remember the name of the guy from Prison Break. And I was going to say that the chicken was pulling a, uh, that guy's name. I remember Link the Sink, but I don't remember the other guy's name. That's going to bother me all day now. It's been a long time since Prison Break came out. When was the last time anybody actively talked about Prison Break? Never. Nobody talks about Prison Break. The first season of that show was amazing, and then after that it was just like, eh. Season 2 was okay, but it was a pretty consistent downhill slide after Season 2. Here, you guys eat chickens all day, every day. All day, every day. You guys get some pogo fruit in you. I'm sorry I haven't, fred I haven't fed you lately. It's not your fault. It's not because I'm mad at you or anything. It's just because you're smelly, and smelly things don't get fed. That's the rule that animals have to live by at my house. If you're smelly, sorry, no food for you. Not a single food for you, slash S. I had to put the slash S in because people get all weird on the internet. They'd be like, I can't interpret your sarcasm. Therefore, I'm going to type you an angry comment. Burr, 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 burr. I'm like, um... I, I feel like I, it was pretty clear I was being facetious. You can't see my face, so I'll give you a little bit of a pass, I guess. Not like a huge one. Oh man, they all, all the carrots rotted. What a rough day to be a honey slime. There we go, so that's covered. I've got a couple of odd onions that can go in there, although not very many. These guys needed like anything, so here you go. Eat some beets. Yep, eat those beets from the streets, yo. They're good for you. They make you happy. All right, we'll fill that little receptacle up for right now so they got something coming their way too so they don't get all disgruntled. I need to go, like, right now over to the apiaries that I have out in the jungle because if I don't... Are these done? These are done, aren't they? They're done. Okay. It's actually a pretty good grip of fossils. All right, so that one's gone. And that's okay by me. I don't really mind that much. But yeah, the uh, the dispenser thing, I'd like it if instead of it holding one thing, when you shot stuff into it, it put it into a corresponding chest of the same color maybe. So that way I could put like, for example, my food chest inside the cave with the rest of my farms and just shoot all the food in there and sort it out later. As of right now, it's a tad restrictive with like the one resource only rule. Not, like, ridiculously restrictive. Like, I'm not mad about it or anything. It's not something that, like, actively bothers me. It's still a cool little device. But I'm just thinking of ways to, like, maybe add upgrades to it or something or make it more satisfying. So you get to go, ah, when you finish it off. Because that's the only thing I look forward to in my day. I wake up in the morning and I say, man, how many hours till I get to go, ah. I don't think I should have ever made that, sh I don't think I should ever make that noise on the channel again. I think I took a chance. I took a chance on a noise that I would normally not make. And instead of it paying back, you know, I've got Oka Oka. I don't know why I'm doing this. Don't know why I'm doing that. I did it for some reason, and now I've just got to live with it, I guess. Off we go to the jungle. And as usual, I'm going to pick up pink plorts along the way, because why not? Why not? Yay, pink plorts. More pink plorts. As many of the pinky plorts as I can get. <clears throat> got a grease cough right now. Got a grease cough right now, so I had to save you guys. I've got pizza grease, like, coming back up. I don't know. Why do we do that? Biologists, explain this to me. What are you studying if not this? Biologists, why does this happen? Why does this happen? You have a delicious pizza, a lovely slice. May I said I was going to have fried chicken like an episode ago, but I decided against it. Pizza one out. There's this really bomb pizza place like right down the street from my house. I'm going to miss it once I move too because I'm moving to a completely different city. I'm moving about 25 minutes away from where I'm at right now. 20, 25 depending on how traffic is on the 80. The 80. The good old 80. But at least it's not the 12, yo. It could be the 12. You got you to gotta be happy. Like the 80 only really slows down like around Davis. Sometimes around North, like, North Texas. Like Air Base Parkway and Fairfield. 
other than that, really, you don't have that many traffic problems to, like, Emeryville. It's, like, every now and again. But, like, there's always traffic right when you hit Emeryville. That's unavoidable. Like, you're always going to get traffic right when you're going past Emeryville. I don't think I've ever gone across the Bay Bridge without traffic in my entire life. Even at, like, 4 in the morning, there's, like, traffic over there. It's just, you got to cross the Bay Bridge. you got to pay the toll, the time toll, the toll of you sitting around just being like, Damn it! Although the best part of the 80s is when it splits. And then you've got all those people in the left lanes who are like, Oh my god! I should have taken the right side! And they wait till like, they get to like the groin of the, groin of the split. And then they're like, I've got to merge! And they got to hold up all of traffic because they drive this road every goddamn day and still don't know they have to go right every single day. It's like, come on, man. Come on. You should have shifted into the right-hand lane like 20 minutes ago. That way you would not be having issues right now. Give me that honey pot. Uh, honey pot, honey pot. Uh, give me that honey pot. If not, I'm gonna cry and make you sleep on a cot. Alright, so... Apiary! Apiary! This is where I'm gonna put my teleporter, by the way. I'm gonna put it, like, right here. So that I can get to all my little resource hives as quickly as possible. Then we'll go... Apiary! Apiary! Yay! We are apiarizing. I'm sure that's the verb that we're looking for. As far as my drills are concerned... I got my dog a Chewbacca jacket. Well, my best friend got my dog a Chewbacca jacket. It's pretty legit. My dog's like... Somehow the jacket gave him the ability to make the noise. It's kind of magical. It's pretty incredible. You should definitely... If you haven't had the chance, your dog should also have a Chewbacca outfit. I promise your dog will be happier for it. You take the meanest junkyard dog on Earth and you give him a Chewbacca jacket. And he'll be like the fluffiest, most wonderful kid. My neighbor got a baby husky, which is pretty adorable. I thought my dog was cute. But his husky put my dog to shame. I was like, damn, my dog's kind of ugly and drooly compared to yours. I mean, I don't know. My dog's kind of like the opposite end of the spectrum. Like, he's one of those dogs that's gotten so ugly that he becomes cute. He's probably listening right now at the baby gate because my dog is confined behind a baby gate. Otherwise, he terrorizes. Like, I do my work and he ruins everything. Like, he's like, all right, dad's recording. I'm going to go destroy the house a little bit. Just let him know I care. Come in and he's like gnawing on a table leg. And you're just like, ah, my furniture! <laughs> Why? I know I got it for free out of a dumpster, but it was in good condition. Why do you do these things? Seriously, I get all my furniture out of dumpsters. Uh, I think we need maybe some... Well, I want to see what the pumps yield first before I... Before I invest a whole bunch more resources into pumps. I need to figure out what's going on with them in the first place. Let me sprint on back out here. And we will check that little neighboring zone over here. And see what they've got for us. Got a bunch of harvests I need to do too, man. My food's growing like crazy. Although all that really matters is that the food is available when you need it. Not necessarily that it grows in a timely or convenient fashion, you know. Hello? Would anyone like my help? Anyone? No? Nobody? Okay, nobody wants my help. Let's go and check my little thingy over here. Wait, I put a drill over here? I thought I put a pump over here. Did I not deploy the pumps yet? Ow! Bastard. Oh. I guess I didn't do that thing that I thought that I did already. It's my new rap single. I didn't do that thing that I thought that I did. Those in tandem jumps out of the ground they do are pretty awesome. Imagine if every day you jumped out of bed and did like a handstand with all of your roommates. And that was just like how you woke up in the morning. Like no variation, no shenanigans, just all performance, all entertainment, all the time. Every moment. Just ready for an audience. Just ready to please, to dazzle. To cause people to go, <gasps> in wonder. 
but like lots of people going like that so that it's not like when you're in the car and you're like driving and then your wife is like <gasps> and then you like slam on the brakes and you're like oh what's going on and then she's like oh this thing that just got posted on Twitter and you're like oh my god I'm going hmm <gasps> indigonium And this is the point at which I would normally make a joke about Indie Stanium. So we apparently got some spiral steam out of there. I don't know how badly I need spiral steam. But drilling in this zone seems to be getting it done. Although we need to figure out where we get the diamond from. The diamond. The diamond in the rough. The diamond in the rhymond in the rough. Like the cave said in Aladdin. Uh, nope, phosphor slime, no time for your little, well, phosphorescent ass, like, oh wait, who put this box up here? Who put that there? Who keeps restocking these areas with non-stop boxes? These box restockers. I need to talk with the people who restock the box. Because every box that they drop, I gotta stop and be like, pop, and throw it against a rock. <laughs> uh... I think we're just about, like, handled over here. Like, I think I gotta do a bunch of feeding and random stuff. And I don't know. I, I really don't feel like there's that many more things that I need to take care of right now. Aside from the acquisition of a diamond, which appears to be kind of a major stopgap for us right now. Med station, I can definitely make that. Oh, look at that. It uses honey, so it's kind of like the it's like the monster hunter version of healing. You got to have honey if you want to get the good potions. And the pink teleporter. Yeah, we need more. We got plenty of hexacombs, the deep brine, and the strange diamond. Supposedly, people were saying in the comments that if I go in here and, like, I look at the resources, it'll say where I can get them. They're not a slime food on the ranch. Specifically, that moment seems to be when a mud slime... No, that's not what I want. Indigonium. Ah, that's what gives indigo quarry. Okay. Jellystone is probably, like, everywhere. As far as lava dust goes, I bet the areas where lava is at are where we could get a bunch of lava dust. So I may consider going to one of those little islands that we unlocked. And there was a bunch of lava laying around. Or maybe down in the lava cave that's an indigo quarry. And seeing if maybe we can get that done. The mossy blanket seems to be paying back pretty well though too. So I think we've mostly got things settled. I'm going to sleep until morning. Get like four hours maybe. Get like a little something in there. Otherwise, be in a grumptastic mood. Alright, feeding time. Who's ready to get some food, that is? Carrots. I'm not propositioning you towards the manly ordeal of a fight. I'm not in the mood right now. I gotta be in the proper mood to fight my slimes. And it's kind of like punching a beanbag chair. It's like pointless. I mean, it's cathartic from time to time. But then, like, the Department of Animal Welfare comes by. A.K.A. Daw. And once they come by... They're going to notice that my slimes have punch marks. I'm like, but it wasn't me. It wasn't me. They're constantly jumping against my laser barriers. That's how they got all that. But they don't believe me. And then they shut me down. And they sanction me. Because the government hates farmers. I like to think there is no government out here. I also like to think that our slime ranching lady probably has a lot of guns. Because if you live in the middle of nowhere and somebody just decides to like, I don't know, take everything you have. It seems like a firearm would be a decent investment. Just like two or three, like a 50 cal mounted on the top of your house. Just like, ba 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 Just start knocking holes and dirt clods. Send those puffs up into the air, movie style. They actually do that? I've never shot a 50 cal machine gun before. Never shot a half track before. Do they actually make those big puffs when they hit the ground, or is that movie magic? I bet it's movie magic. Every time I get excited about something that I saw in a movie, it turns out to be fake. Every damn time. Every damn time. Um. 
I'll feed you guys pogo fruits. Because that's what you get. You guys get a de heart. No. You guys get a de heartbeats. Perfecto. And I'll tide you over for like another 12 seconds. Shit. This is like the most slimy, difficult to shoot heartbeat ever. I'm trying my heart out right now. And it's just making me look foolish. I'm trying everything. It's just making me look dumb. No. No. Oh no, these are honey slimes. I needed to give them minty mangoes. And then put some in there too. Because they don't eat like as fast as I thought they was going to eat, yo. Dude, what is up with you guys and all these minty mangoes over here? Have I really overstocked you to such an extent with food? Have I really been so generous of a master? Oh, it's because it sucks the mangoes over there, too. Gotcha. Yeah, we'll just feed them a little bit at a time now because I feel like it's more efficient. We'll also take all these carrots away because carrots are bad for you. Little known fact your parents never tell you is that carrots are terrible for you, especially lima beans. They're the worst. Don't ever eat lima beans. The government puts mind control bullshit in them. And if your parents go along with that, you now know they work for the government. Mm-hmm. That's how you know. It's science. This is not conjecture. This is a real thing. My name is Splatacat. I'll see you all in the next episode of Slime Rancher, which has been a lot of fun so far. I really do apologize about those episodes that had the weird audio issues. I fixed them up the best that I could, but they were from my my off mic, unfortunately. So it was like one of those things where it's like, ah. I realized the problem, and I, was, I go, there's no way I can fix this. I mean, I can put it into an audio editing program, and I can mess with the waveform and, like, fix it up a little bit. But that's like the best I can do. And it's either that or like you guys don't get episodes for like a week. And so I figured I'd just put them up a little bit inferior and shitty sounding. Sorry. I don't know if that was a wise decision or not. But I appreciate you putting up with it and sticking it out and getting to here where everything is all normalized. Hi, I do. And I'll see you next time. Get the game down below for yourself.